I would love to claim that I don't rummage around in trash, but who am I kidding? After all, this is Deponia. Blah! Slimy. Oh, that is disgusting. No, I've had it. I simply do not belong here. I... Wait! What's this? Hey, that's my old anchovy bait. It's still good. No, I don't have to do that. I'm better than those Deponian trash diggers. I can! I... I... I have to! I can't leave here. Not without goal. Ah, nothing beats a fresh breeze from the sea. The smell of freedom and adventure. And tar, toxic chemicals. And Tony's mother? Shh, you're scaring the fish. Ah, uh, rotten fish. Close enough, but this native presents a welcome opportunity to make use of my cosmopolitan tactfulness and my linguistic skills. Me, Rufus, where I find lab belong to Doc. Are you talking to me, ape man? We put maps up for people like you. Ah, you mean heroes passing through? I mean people we prefer not to talk to. Hey, just so you know it, I have an excellent sense of direction. I don't need your stinking maps. So what you looking at it for? I'm not looking. I'm just... Shooting it a contemptuous glance. Oh, Doc's office is in the industrial park. But where's the tavern? Ah, oh, well, who cares? I guess I'll go see Doc first then. According to the delivery note, the crate contains a replacement airbag for the canal gondolas. White, of all things, the wet blanket among colors. Who needs something like that? You can feel it when the electricity flows. What a cute little doggy you are! I beg your pardon? My name is Cleverbite. I'm an autonomous, cybernetically highly developed service unit, programmed to perform complex security tasks. Cleverbite! Oh, such an amusing name for a robodog. I will not suffer such indignities. Through the neuronal connection of computer circuits with organic cerebral matter, I am capable of processing more than 3,000 floating point operations per second. Can you sit up and beg? Perhaps not. But I could sit up and grab something until you beg me to let go. You know, you've got quite an attitude for a cyber whatever mongrel, but I'm pretty sure that your bark is worse than your bite. Do you hear me barking then? Uh, I don't know. All I can hear is me, 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 nerdy ramblings, me, 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 me. I'll ask Doc to make you a cyber muzzle. To do that, you would need to get past me, right? <laughs> I'm not going to allow some stupid mutt to block my path. Actually, I'm a superior cybernetic. Me, 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 superior. Let me show you who is superior here. Down! I am not sure I have comprehended your intention. That's because you're only a silly dog. It might help if you could talk in complete sentences. 
down, boy. Bravo. With a little more effort, you might indeed be capable of forming an entire sentence. Ha! <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> I hereby demand that you perform the act of down. <laughs> Good boy. Well, I'm still not sure what you're really trying to tell me. <laughs> well, down, down, see? <laughs> like this. <laughs> This guy cracks me up! Let me through. I have to see Doc. Oh, but I can't do that. If I let you through, my designation as a watchdog would be completely compromised. And if you don't, you'll be completely compressed. I think you're forgetting who's the superior species here. Then why don't you simply show me? <laughs> Will you please let me in? Hmm, that sounds better already. But I didn't quite get the third word you said. Please. Talk directly into the audio interface. If you insist. Please, 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 please! <laughs> stop it! Oh, please, stop! You're overloading my circuits! <laughs> Who's a good robot dog? Hmm. I need to think about that one. Hmm. Your mother, perhaps? What? Oh, you rotten! <laughs> Stupid mutt! What? You're giving up already? How disappointing. Hey, look what I've got! And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick! What's wrong? Fetch the stick! Or are you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Fetch that stick. Hmm. No. You go fetch that stick now! Atta boy! If you're so fond of that stick, why don't you go get it yourself? And if you're a good boy, I might even let you pass. <sighs> go on! I just threw a stick and you are a dog. So, what do dogs do in a case like this? I wait for you to make an even bigger fool of yourself? No, wrong! You fetch the stick. Or are you too stupid? Wait, wait. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, boy. You didn't really just do that, did you? <laughs> I can't take it anymore! Something seems to be wrong with this lamp. It flickers constantly. Maybe the fixture's loose. <laughs> DeCapo! DeCapo! Exactly. That barking trash can may think he can shock me, but I'll show him what a shock. What? Well, I'm when when the shock. 
I mean, what, what the, what the shock? Oh, whatever. Some ingenious pun with shock. <laughs> shock. <laughs> because of the electric shock and, and, and so on. Oh, come on, Rufus. You don't need a punchline to be brilliant. White of all the wet blanket among cup. Black would be better, with flames glued to the side up front. And maybe, maybe a dragon with a battle axe. <laughs> now he's in for a nasty shock. Hey, what's wrong? Are you giving up? Yes, you were right. This stick business is just too much for me. You stupid muddy cur. Here, like this. You put the stick in your mouth. <laughs> Oh boy, I can't take it anymore! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy, 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 oh boy! Does it have juice? What is going on out there? Stop playing around with the equipment and come in. It's time for another brilliant maneuver, plus or minus 10 minutes. Not necessary. I've got all the time I need. Hey, Doc. Rufus. At last, Gold really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo, then. He mentioned a tavern. Her implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character, the ascension codes. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. She's almost always unconscious when we run into each other. I wonder if there's a connection. Ah, nonsense. Goal? Goal! She can't hear you, Rufus. No problem. I know what to do. All I need is battery acid, gunpowder, bull's blood. Or you can simply bring me the cartridges as I asked you to do. We'll see. Hmm, I wonder if he can do it. Shit, not without my help, that much is certain. So, I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the heart. Just have them, but make very sure...
Ahem. Chew first. That was a reminder that you are not to poke around in my things. Okay, reminder heard and ignored. Rufus? It's okay. Ahem. It's okay. A little more power here certainly couldn't hurt. Don't play around with the equipment. If you aren't careful, you can open a wormhole. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I'd rather wait until the last second for acts of desperation. It, they just work better that way. No, we're talking to the three-headed platypus behind you. We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. Oh yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. You spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. Then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? Caution is required. The colorful ones like to bite back. Oh man, that was a lousy Easter. I, uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their rear end. Hello? Testing, testing. Attention, attention. This is an important announcement. A comet is approaching the floating black market. I repeat, a comet is approaching the floating black market. In order to avoid panic, you should consider suicide as an option. <laughs> this time i told you i don't lend stuff to no one so don't complain when you get a cup of cyanide instead of milk what the who are you <laughs> what have you got on offer my specialty today is cuts and stab wounds for obnoxious visitors holy crap on a cracker Thank you. 
I would like a knife. In your gut or in your eye? You can have both. Do you think that's the smartest way to treat a potential customer? You? A potential customer? Ha! <laughs> Just look at you! You should be glad I haven't shot you yet! With the emphasis on yet! I think I lost my way. Yeah, I think so too. But I've got good news for you. It's not gonna happen anymore in the future. Because then I'll know my way around? Because you won't be able to walk! That's why! <laughs> I'll, uh, <coughs> I guess I'll be on my way then. <laughs> yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. I feel like I'm being watched. Oh, no, I can't while someone's watching. This is apparently a real hand. They don't appear to think much of dice games here. Go, go, Rufus Rubber Arm! <laughs> huh, that always worked before. What amateur installed this? It's in need of realignment. What amateur installed this? It's in need of realignment. Why does that always happen to me with antennas? Yoo-hoo! What is that sheet music? La musica si fa volare. It's una canzone molto romantica. La 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 la! Calzoni. Can't you sing something else for a change? Computere! Ma sfortunamente, but it isn't too bad. I have just uno singolo spartito. Only one musical sheet, da comprende? <laughs> Some of it. Do you really have to keep rowing through the canals and singing? Hey, cadare! Merci! I need to drive off the... How do you say? Boredom? Ah, well, now that makes sense. I don't mean to worry you, but the Organon is planning to blow up Deponia. Oh, no apprezzione. Don't, don't worry. Con una bella canzone on your lips. All is gonna be ben in the end. Nothing's gonna be bene. The whole planet is gonna go kablooey. So I will sing a la 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 la. Oh, brother. I hope they hurry up with their explosion. Cool gondola. Eh, si si. Mr. Gabriel molto comfortable con tutto extra special. With all the extras? Well, what extras? Eh, back. Arrivederci. Huh? What's that mean? Uh -huh. These foreign models are just pieces of junk. Something's always breaking down. Is that supposed to be a razor fish? To me, it looks more like a sword. Hey, hold still! Oh, darn it. Oh, it seems to have some sort of motion sensor.
May I bother you? Not really. Then I'll have to do it without your consent. Didn't we meet in front of Doc's workshop? Uh, you must be mistaken. No, no. You and your beefy chum, you were gonna take something from me. What was it you were yelling? Death to the Organon? Death to the Organon! Uh, oh, I mean, um, <laughs> death to the Organon! <laughs> Whoever would say such a thing? Not that it isn't a good slogan. I mean, someone must have put a lot of thought into that. Why are you sitting here on your lonesome? I'm waiting for a worthy opponent to play rock, paper, scissors. Why do you think you might find one here? Because people around here tend to give you the finger. <laughs> and that makes sense. So you're a professional rock, paper, scissors player? Yeah, I'm an expert, a professional gamer, a prestidigitator. Scissors is my forte. I've been training it for years and I can do it in my sleep. But my rock really rocks too. <laughs> Once in a while I'm still a bit hesitant to make full use of my paper. But my coach says that I can compensate for this weakness through speed and stamina. I want to play. Uh, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Well, the last time I looked they were at the lower end of my arm. Let me have a look. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, here they are. Ha ha ha. Nice try, buddy. Why? What's what's wrong with them? Those aren't official tournament fingers. They might be loaded. Come back when you have an official tournament hand. I'll be off then. See you around. I hope there's also something useful in there. Despite my mighty strength, I'm not going to get anywhere without tools. The flap is screwed down. Ah, the obligatory sugar dispenser. Let's see if the lid is nice and loose. Yep, the way it's supposed to be. Terrific first mate I've got there. I have to do all the work. And he sits there guzzling grog. First mate, what are you talking about? I'm just giving you passage on my trawler. For which, by the way, you still haven't paid. Oh yeah, good old bozo. Always mumbling some ancient sailor's curses. Hello, bozo, old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not a pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus, was there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. Wait a minute. Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. Oh, don't tell me I slept through the entire passage. Like a platypus, only you mumbled in your sleep. I was dreaming of my next big adventure. Would that have anything to do with ballet, sweet cheeks? I went to see Doc, and now I need to find the gadget shop. Uh, say hello to Gilligan for me if he happens to be in. It's by the pier, just to the left of the city gate. How's the grog around here? This is peppermint tea. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell me another one. Pirates drink grog. Everybody knows that. But I'm not. Uh, listen, 
I talked to Doc. He says your skewed perception may be an indication of a serious head injury. And the scar next to your eye may be an indication of an exciting sea battle. Har! Oh, seriously. Did you ever fall on your head? I mean, between the two times since we've met. Anchors away! Hoist the sails! Avast, ye landlubbers! Yo, ho, 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 ho! Oh, well. None of my business. Just as long as you don't forget to pay me for the passage. Uh, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum are. See you later. Don't get lost.